let's talk about the dynamic duo of improving the online experience, A-B testing and personalization. You can think of A-B testing like a fashion influencer trying out different styles, right? They experiment with accessories, with poses, AKA your copy, your layout, even the algorithms. And they're trying to figure out which look, which outfit, AKA user experience is gonna strike that right nerve. Personalization, on the other hand, is like having a personal stylist who knows your exact taste. They know what you've told them. They've also gleaned a lot of information from you. They tailor the outfit, uh, user experience, to you at the perfect moment, right? You're looking for recommendations for hiking boots. Well, they already know what products to pull. They know what size you are. They even know what brands you like. While each methodology has its own merits, the benefits and the results become exponential when you're able to forge an alliance between the two. Just ask forward-thinking companies like this construction supply company that saw an 89% increase in purchases from recommendations simply by combining A-B testing and personalization to tailor the experiences for their unique customer segments. Here's an example of why it's better to combine methodologies. Picture this, you're a fashion retailer and you sell both men's and women's clothing. You run an A-B test on your homepage hero banner and you find that the women's variation wins. But only 70% of your audience is women. So if you serve the winning variation from the A-B test to your entire audience, it would be a huge missed opportunity and it wouldn't be a great experience for that remaining 30% of your audience. But if you were to go the personalization route, that wouldn't necessarily be a great option either, even if you were to serve the right variation based on known customer status, because people shop for the opposite gender all the time, for family members, for gifts, even for personal preferences. When you combine A-B testing and personalization, it helps you account for these types of nuances. So instead of testing everything on everyone all the time, you divide your audience into specific customer segments. And this could be based on their level of intent, their likelihood to purchase, their buying habits, their loyalty status, even how excited they seem. Then you can test different personalization strategies on these groups, like homepage hero banners or product recommendations. This way, you can cater to individual needs while finding out what resonates with each type of visitor. Plus, with the help of AI and machine learning, you can analyze all of this data in real time, giving you both broad-based and fine-tuned insights into your user and consumer behavior. For example, you might find that your high intent users, well, they prefer a very streamlined homepage, while your loyalty members might prefer to go straight to the cart upon login. Everybody gets the experience that they want most. So ditch the one size fits all approach and embrace the dynamic duo of A-B testing and personalization.